HQ to any available units. We have mechs down at Nav Gamma. Bravo Cadet reports four summoners on site. Bandits are hostile. Repeat, bandits are hostile. Good day, YouTube. Today, the given make Mad Dog. Let's see what we must do. Incoming coded message. The battle of for ice grief pass rages on the surface of Morgs. The enemy is terraforming Kareta. Morgs' largest moon. Kareta has enough untapped natural resources to perhaps single out and at least support the enemy war machine indefinitely. To prevent this, the two men have decided to sabotage their main, main terraformer unit on the moon's Batista flats. We have captured the Jade Falcon mech and have loaded the current enemy IFF code into the onboard computers. Using the captured Falcon mech, you will travel to Nav Lambda for an ambush on a patrolling enemy Falcon mech identical to your own. After destroying the mech, you will assume his identity by following the nav sequence to the Falcon base where the enemy will recognize the IFF code. Find the main terraformer unit and destroy the core and get out. The terraformer unit, unit is hard and you will need to circle the unit to find a weak spot in the cone. Engage no one unless first attack. Failure is not an option. Return only if victorious. Uh, I open, no nice. So, cold crescent. War is never really won by anyone who participates in it. War simply rearranges the way things were and steals the promise for of tomorrow from each side. To succeed at war you have to lose part of your humanity. After you win enough wars you have no humanity left because you lost a piece of it each time you killed someone. Except from the private diary of Major Leon James of the Killhounds. Inside is Wolfhounds. Sakan so Pelon Ward of the Wolf Clan watched the early morning sky lighten over Ice Cliff Pass. Howling winds buff buffet these make blown clouds of snow and ice before them. But the knife edge cold could not penetrate the cockpit. Soon the sun would rise and strike a thousand sparks from the snow covered ground. The Jake Falcons would land before too much longer. Then the battle must be joined. A harsh voice crackled over Felan's com channel. This is Star Colonel Angeline Martov of Clan Jade Falcon. I have a message for the free birth called Felan Ward. Felan flicked the switch and answered. Have you come to your senses, Star Colonel, and decided to withdraw your forces without a fight? Such wisdom deserves mercy. I will allow you and your warriors to leave the system without your makes, of course. Bold words, free birth, but with little. I have the honor to announce the death of traitor star colonel Uruk Kerensky. He died on Walton, in a circle of equals. The hands of our Sakan, Thunderwan, Chistu. Suddenly called, Felan could muster no reply. After a moment of silence, Matlov's gloating voice continued. After the traitor's death, our forces destroyed the wolf's command and control units. The few wolf warriors who fled there, they at the defeat on Walton will not reach you in time to reinforce your meager strength. You and your wolves are lost, Felan. Without the Black Widow and the Grey Wolf, you will fall as they did. Natasha and Uri, both dead. Only I am left. Falon closed his eyes and pushed his grief to the back of his mind. He suddenly wanted to laugh his defiance in the Matlow's face. She expected a bombshell to demoralize him and his troops. Instead, the knowledge of Uri's sacrifice had the opposite effect. Unconsciously straightening in his command couch, Falon answered the only way he could. Wrong as usual, old woman, he said. We revere the spirits of Uric and Natasha even more where they passing, so much that they trust us that they gladly risk their death to ensure that we could destroy you here. Once again, you have underestimated us, and your galaxy will pay the price for your folly. On December 5, 3057, the Jade Falcon, Omnicorn and Peregrine Galaxy arrived in the Morg system to exterminate the remaining warriors of the Wolf Clan. Much to their surprise, they found themselves facing not the two Wolf Galaxies they had expected, but one Wolf Galaxy and two re regiments of the Callhounds, the famed Innisfear mercenary unit. Conflon also bit the 16th battle cluster and chose the southern polar continent of Morks as the site of the, this battle. Ferris at being forced to fight a gang of dirty freebirths, Star Colonel Angeline Matlov bit all the forces at their disposal, five frontline clusters, five garrison clusters, 
and even at Saloma unit. The Jade Falcons dropped onto Mogs on 13 December into the teeth of Confluence fortified and entrenched combined arms forces. The frozen landscape of Ice Creek Pass became the first of many battle battlegrounds in a conflict that would decide the fate of clans and Jade Falcon. Wow. Okay. Satellite, Ambient temperature, 89.34 degrees. Local time is 13.25.35 GST. All systems nominal. Group fire engaged. Chain fire oh, engaged. Oh shit, here we go again. Let's see how we do this run. Oh. Today has not been a good day for me to game. Me. Yeah, so let me tell you quickly, because I'm only showing the successful one, so even if I have to tell the story now over and over and over again, it doesn't really matter. So this is my third or fourth run, fourth run with this one. Um, oh God, I get a little bit closer, a little bit closer. I actually destroyed the terraforming unit, except my mech was so damaged because of the fighting. So in the in the one after that, I decided, okay, let's just run and then see what happens. Oh, big mistake. So... Uh, so I took uh, another Mad Dog unit also. And I'm not allowed to shoot these guys. Who the hell cares? Group fire engaged. Up until they first shoot me, which is... Level 
sorry, just to let you know, this is the furthest I have come with the least amount of damage. I think sometimes it helps to be a little bit more aggressive. But you're missing the headshot that I gave. Hey, that Nova made short work of it. And then all these Halbringers and stuff made short work of me. Yeah. Oh, no, nice. Now I have to go look for that can break the video. See if I can run away this time. Oh, you can do this. Oh, so in the first run. I basically attacked the base over there because even though I read it for some reason I didn't follow instructions. I thought I was a badass. And I fell. Then on the second run I came to I followed the train track, got to the as soon as I entered the three next blew me up as fast as very very fast. Then on my third run, I first wanted to see where they start detecting you, and 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 I got blown to smithereens almost. But I found the the core blew up the core, and was running around with. LR one LR in twenty launcher with no ammo. ammo. I had the other the other mad dog. I think it's the D config. Then warning. Temperature spike detected. Brace for shock wave. Then I did the um in the next run, I did better. And then now, this one actually successful. Can you believe it? Ah, you like almost. Callahan spawned the Falcons at Ice Cliff Pass. Thanks to the concerted effort of the, by the mercenaries that caused the Falcons the entire fourth Thalian cluster. During the savage fighting, several Falcon make warriors ejected from the mechs, only to be caught in a barrage of laser fire from the inner sphere of opponents. Once again, the Hound showed the Jade Falcons the folly of underestimating the mech warriors of the inner sphere. Next. Marauder. Marauder. Which variants we have? 
Warhawk. Uh, yeah. Direwolf. Warhawk. Direwolf. Warhawk. Ha. Ha ha ha. We need to play on the tunnel. This is Stalker now. Cash Girl now. After a very long recording. Bye bye.